Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be sorting out all my smelly things. So basically, usually how I um, keep them or present them is on my chest of drawers. But the only thing is it's getting really cluttered now because I have so many. So it just looks pretty cluttered. And I really like to display my perfumes, especially with some of the bottles. Because some of the bottles look like really pretty. But it's getting to that point where it's kind of getting a little bit cluttery. Now for Christmas my brother got me this like beauty set so it came with body wash, body scrub, um, body spray, a scrunchie and I thought instead of throwing the whole container away because it's like a container with drawers, it has two drawers, why not actually store my perfumes in it? So I thought why not do this? So I've got the bottom drawer here. So I thought I'd like show you me sorting out all my perfumes. So yeah. I thought I'd do that. So with my body mist and stuff, I'll just keep them out anyway. Um, this is a good example because where my chest of drawers is, there's kind of the sun. And obviously you're not supposed to have, um, you know, direct sunlight on perfumes. But I've always been like, I want them displayed. I like them displayed. But, you know, as I said, it's getting a bit cluttery now. So I think it's best to just put them in a drawer. And obviously it protects them, especially my designer ones. Like a good example this one this is the uh, in, 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 intimidately beckham perfume and the liquid has gone all clear it's supposed to be like a baby pink color but it's like all clear but that's another good example is why you shouldn't have them you know in direct sunlight so as i said i'm going to start off with the bottom perfume bottom bottom perfume bottom tray so this is nina richie's luna um, this one uh, is a limited edition one. I remember it's supposed to come with a free bag, but Demonyms ran out of bags, so they gave me a Prada candy makeup bag instead. But yeah, that I won't go in with the scents or anything like that, just because obviously I'm just sorting it out. This isn't necessarily like a full-on collection as such. Hey right then, I'll reach for this. This is nearly finished. This makes me so ga so so ga so sad. This is the black. This is why I sell black opium, and this is the newt nut, the nut one. Um, it's nearly gone. Like there's literally just a centimeter in there, um, which is really sad. Really, really like this perfume. I'll definitely purchase it, but this is probably a bottle which I will have display once it is empty. But yeah, I have another opium perfume somewhere there it is. Uh, this is the um, original opium this one's nearly gone as well uh, then I have quite a few Britney Spears perfumes so I have Britney Spears and Sunset Fantasy and then I have Island Fantasy and I also have the um, fragrance mist of Island Fantasy which I got from B&M uh, I then have, uh, this one is fantasy, but it's the toilet version. It's basically a very, very, very watered down version of the perfume. I then have uh, Curious. This is my favourite Britney Spears perfume. Um, it doesn't actually fit in here. I'll just put it to the side up and go for that one in the, later on in the video. I then have... Uh, radiant as well I don't know where the cap is some of these I've lost the cap to but they're so the line around somewhere they will appear so there's that I then have this perfume this perfume I actually got from a friend I brought from a friend um, just, actually I wouldn't say friend more of a work colleague um, it's a perfume called Lol. That was the reason why I bought it. I think I did a review on this, but it's like a whole gift set, so it's already got its own box. There's a lot of it. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's an all right scent, but you can tell it's definitely like a scent for an eleven year old. Um, yeah. So I don't, <laughs> I don't really reach for this as often, but I mean it's there. Um, this is um Avon's. Far away exotic. You know what? Should I do a declutter? Like the perfumes I don't wear that often, I'm going to put to the side. 
Not necessarily I'm going to get rid of them, but if they all don't fit in these two drawers, then I might have to. So, there's that. I've got these Lancome minis, which um, I did a ranking video of. Yeah. There's another mini Lancome one. Uh, what shall I get? This is probably the only Juicy Couture fragrance I actually like. I really, to be fair, though, it's not as bad as, uh, what's his name? Mugler. Tom Mugler. Luffy Mugler, you know the ones that do, the guy that does the a alien fragrances. I can't get any of them. Any of them, I just can't. I just can't. Um, which is sad because quite a few people like it, but I just can't get into it. But yeah. Um, this is Calvin Klein's Deep Youth, 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 I can't fucking speak guys, but that's what it is, <laughs> that's what it is, um, I have some of the Zoella minis, um, I have a Blissful Mist, as, again, with the sunlight, I generally don't think the liquid is this cloudy beforehand, and then, Bake my day, and then have uh, Luscious Karma. Really like that scent. Miss Dior's um, perfume. Really, really, really like this one. Really like it. If you're a massive fan of Rose, then I definitely recommend you give that a go. Um, honestly, don't think I'm any more in here. Um, I've got a few of these minis which I got in that calendar which I did, Christmas calendar, um, I'll stick these in there, the ones I didn't like I gave to my mum, well it was the only one that I really didn't like, I gave to my mum, so yeah, we'll finish with this drug because I don't think I'm going to actually be able to get anything else in this one, right now on to the final drawer, so I have this, this is the Body Shop a Black Musk Fragrance Mist, 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 called the house in a minute, learn how to speak, Right, next, this is the, this was from Primark, it's the Alice in Wonderland um, perfume. This smells really nice, like it's very sweet scent. Um, I then have Rihanna's Rogue. Um, I then have two of the Adidas um, fragrances, to uh, toilettes. This one is Victory League. And then this one is Ice uh, ice Dive. Actually, I might not keep these in here. I might not. I'll put them to the side for now because I'm not sure. I then have um, Avon's Eve Confidence. I have the normal perfume and then have the little spray. It's alright, but I've got so many perfumes. At this point, when I bought this, I my collection obviously is was growing so much that I, it's a fragrance I've smelled before and it's like mm, it's all right if you've got not met many perfumes or fragrances but it just reminds me of the scents that I have in my collection but it's like very sweet um it's all right oh again I'll put this to the side just in case uh, intimately beckon we already saw this I will put this to this side as well just in case I don't have any room because I don't really reach for that as often anymore um, this is pure flowers uh, this I got from Aldi ages ago and I was wondering if it was a dupe for the little mix perfume I can't remember what it's called but you'll get you'll know what I mean because it's the same goddamn bottle pretty much I think it's like different colors but the same like design bottle so, I was, I was meaning to get the Little Mix one, but I never did. And it's kind of too late now, because you can't actually get this anymore. Um, I don't think I did a review on it either, because I tried contacting the company, asking for the notes, because I couldn't find it online, and I didn't get a reply. So, I'm like, okay, fine. Be that way. But, you know, it probably was a dupe for that perfume. I then have an Avon Secret Fantasy perfume. Um... I then have, oh, this is another um, mini uh, Lanco mini. I'll put that in the other drawer in a minute. I then have DKNY's Be Delicious. I then have um, Pekka Rabanne's Pure Excess. I thought the ad for this was, 
I thought the ad was so over, like, over dramatic. I thought it was just hilarious. If you've not seen the ad, you should search it. It's just, it's hilarious. It made me laugh. Uh, and then have Emp Emporia Omani because it's you. Um, is that everything? Yeah. Oh, I have this. Uh, this is City Rush uh, by Avon. And then... I don't know why I've got this. Okay, every time I think about it, I think, so let me just move on. Basically, my ex used to have the delusion of this, and I really like this to my love it. So I decided to get that after she. And it's like, why am I actually got? Why do I actually have this? It smells nice, but it's kind of like, yeah, a bit weird to have. So I then have the um, Superdrug Boutique Scent Pink Tropical. This is what came in this box set and then the um body mist for that I'd, i'll stick that in there um so with the ones i'm not sure where this is put in there i put these two in there um this it smells nice but i'm planning on getting it's like one of those tropical sort of scents like you know eastern scents if that makes any sense it reminds me of um but i'm planning on getting um eventually is uh what's that oh what's that man oh why has it just gone from the top of my head um zoologist that's it's zoologist camel which is 10 times more better than this but it still gives that sort of like you know, like desert feeling like middle east country sort of feeling yeah, I plan on getting that. It's going to cost me a lot because I only have rhinoceros, rhinoceros and that was a lot of money. A lot of money. Quick shipping though, but a lot of money. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this. Do we, What I'll do, because with perfume, some people are happy to buy perfume that is kind of halfway used and stuff like that. So what I'll do is, as I've left this video up, if you want any of these, just comment in my youtube comments to let me know if you want any of these obviously i can't like can't direct message anymore so if you leave me like instagram or facebook then i'll message you you know for your details and stuff Um, this one i won't give away just because i've had this for a while and yeah as i said the color it used to be baby pink and it's just clear now i've had this for a while just don't reach for it so um won't give that away because i've had that for a while um this one oh i'll keep the um the little 10 mil yeah 10 mil but this again if you if anyone wants this as you can tell i've hardly used this one then just let me know in the comments so this drawer is a little bit full so with my aftershaves i will just leave these out just because obviously it's taking the most room because they're so bulky. I'll keep the Paco Rabanne excess one though in here. Now because this is quite big, this will just go again um, with my body mist and everything. Um, this is, what mill is this? This is 100 mil. I fucking love this. The day they discontinue Cure Britney Spears Chorus is the day I'll cry. It is literally hands down my favourite Britney Spears fragrance. Like literally for a while this was my favourite fragrance. I think I did a video update on my top um, fragrances which I'll probably link down below. To you know, I'll just let you know which one knocked this one off the top spot. And then I forgot to mention I also have um, Zoella's Cosmos um, Body Mist as well. So I thought in this video as well I would just show you. The perfumes that I'm wanting, perfumes and aftershaves that I'm wanting in my collection. So first off, obviously I mentioned zoology, zoologist's camel. Um, I also want the zoologist's elephant as well. So there's that. I also want the after the male version of um, the Pacaraban, not Pacaraban, Imperial Marnie's stronger um, with you for him. Uh, I then want the Nina Ritchie Bella, uh, the one that, did I say that was Bella because that was Luna, 
one in my collection is Luna, just in case I miss that up, but I want to try um, Bella, the full size. And then I also want to um, give Amani code a go as well. So, yeah, that's it for this video. So, bye guys.